Hey guys, welcome back to another video here in my channel. Today, we are actually not playing Minecraft. This time, we're here on Terraria because I thought we might need something new. We've been on Minecraft for a while and I wanted to do something else this time, so I thought, why don't we play Terraria? I mean, it's a great game and I'm sure we can have lots of fun in here, so... Why don't we just get started? Oh, we got an apple out of the tree. That's pretty rare, I think. They give good effects. We should always save these for fighting bosses. But first off, if you don't know what Terraria is, well, first off, it's a 2D game, not, not 3D like Minecraft, but it has kind of gotten that same theme where you can kind of just build everything on here. So it's 2D Minecraft, but really it isn't it has lots of different content and there are a lot of other things like slimes on here for example those are also in minecraft but different we have butterflies we have different sorts we have other food we have some more wood and there are just way more possibilities in here you always get started out by getting some wood and making a crafting table then our goal should be to maybe find a desert if there's one nearby to get cactus armor which is a bit better than wood armor but after that we should go to the mines and find some ores so we just made our crafting table let's place it down and make some better sword because the copper sword is really not that good then we should also make some armor so we don't die instantly. Let's equip it on there and just wander around now. There are also NPCs in here like this guy. This guy is the guide. He's called Tanner. He's always giving us hints and I just, I just saw that my game is t not in English. Okay, let me just change that. A squirrel. I've never seen a squirrel come out of the tree. I didn't want to kill that. Well, they don't even drop anything, so it wasn't even worth it. Oh, those are a lot of slimes. We can kill them, so we get some slime gelée, and with that and some wood, we can make torches. I got a couple of torches because on the night it does get pretty dark on here. So, we should maybe get going, because as you can see, with the sun over there, the day is already halfway over. I'll just be exploring on here. It doesn't go to the infinity. The world does end in some time. Oh, but we found a small cave, though it doesn't look like there's anything inside, so I'll just skip that and walk further. On our way, I should mine some what is going on with those squirrels they're all coming out of those trees i don't know if they want to get murdered but like that i need to oh oh i i just saw that by him on the right that is the corruption the corruption is a biome that occurs in every world either the corruption or the crimson and it's like like a bad biome on here so it stretches through your world and it gets bigger over time there's strong mobs for the beginning on here and they shouldn't be messing with them i'm probably gonna die you can see my half bar on the top right corner and my mana bar under that which is used for spells and that's gonna be important because i'm probably gonna pick magician as kind of like a class because it's good to specify on a certain weapon theme. For example, there is the warrior, which is basically just using swords and also yo-yos. Then we have the archer or ranged, which uses bows and guns. We've also gotten the summoner, which is, as you might think, it's like the magician, but the summoner is something very different. The summoner uses mana to summon allies for him that will then do the killing of the enemies. 
but there is a maximum of how many things you can summon at a time. Our main goal, here yeah, I'll turn on the minimap. Our main goal is just... What's that? What is that? What are you? What is that? That's a flower! We just got murdered by a flower. I didn't know when that was a feature. Anyway, let's just go to the left now. Oh yeah. We've gotten to the completely wrong side before. This looks much better. So there are these vases everywhere. They give you some random items like potions or ropes or torches and sometimes even money. Oh, this is a railway. They are pretty good, I would say. But only... Yes, we got something. This is like a dungeon, basically. There's a gold chest inside of here, and... We got a cosmetic, some potions, and a rope. I don't want to be inside of... Oh, a red slime. Those are bad. This swarm is being a bit too loud for me. Please shut up. Come here. Shut your mouth. Oh, wait. What is this? I think you can get a sword out of this. Ah, oh, we didn't. Okay. I'm lucky as always. Yeah, come, come. No. I hate these worms. But we actually don't lose items when we die. We just lose some money. Which is configurable. There are multiple difficulties. I've chosen the normal one because I'm not a pro. As you can see by this, I can't even fight an easy enemy. Just want to mine some of this ore so we can maybe get some better to... That's a new worm. He has full HP. That's the old one. Root. Let's just do this and mine this. I hate these worms. <laughs> I really do hate them. You can't get them off. Oh, I'm dying. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I better run away. Finally, we got them. That took so long. So we've gotten a cosmetic. And as you can see, I can kind of slide on this wall and jump. So these are your accessories. And they give you special abilities, you could say. Um, I've gotten the spikes, which are basically a wall jump just, so there are a lot of them, a lot, and some are more class specified, like uh, some books that give you more mana, pretty good for the mage, but some are for everyone, it's like the one I just got, which is great. This is actually, I would say, a very important one, because wall jump. I mean, look at this cave. You can barely get out of here. So, now we've gotten into the minecart, we can explore the other side of the cave. Maybe this is also gonna be a good one. And we'll find some chests in here. Ah, oh, no, it ends on here without giving me anything. It's lucky that we found such a cave early in the beginning, because... I mean, I also play Terraria for myself, and sometimes you really don't get lucky with the caves. So this is pretty good. We've got some silver ore. Um, I know that there are some other ores in there, okay, but I don't need all of them. Some are, some don't have armor pieces or tools, um, and some do. I think silver doesn't have armor, it only has tools, so it's still useful because we still use copper tools and we could be using some upgrades. I should be getting some stone because we need, I think, 30 stone for furnace. As you can see, the zombies are coming because the night time is arriving. And the first night in Terraria is pretty hard. I should have built a house, but I was too slow. And now I gotta deal with these. They're also a lot more tankier than in Minecraft. 
So there aren't really any super early game enemies. I mean, you know, we're in the early, early game. You need to beat like eight bosses to get out of early game. Okay, maybe not eight. And I've died. Yeah, I don't have that much skill in this game. As you might have guessed by now, but it's not as easy. We can make a furnace. Out of our ores, we can craft ingots and mine some more wood to build a house. And remember, if you want to see more of this, a like would be very great because it would show me that you're also open for this and I can do this. But, you know, if you don't want to see this, then don't do it because it will just show me what I should play and I want to see what you think. These zombies are so annoying, do you know that? They take like no knockback. And you need like 20 hits for them. Oh, we actually got a desert. That is great. I might want to get some of this wood because every wood has different stats. So if, for example the normal wood has worse armor than the wood in ice biomes. This is hard, I, I don't know what to do. Just regain some health. Oh no, this is hard. Oh, I'm dead. Let's just go back to the location also. You can not skip the night in this game. Now let's get back to these zombies. But this time, let's kill them. I just want to get this wood. When you don't have a ranged weapon, eyes are the worst. Okay, it's getting, it's getting lighter outside. The zombies should be gone. Any minute now. I died again. How am I so bad at this game? I really am trash. I thought I was bad at Minecraft. But now we're here at Terraria. And I can't live in night. I died three times this night already I think. Maybe four. Oh but you hear this music? This is the music when it turns day. This is no nighttime music. So, there should be no more zombies, but slimes. Though they are not as fast and not even nearly as dangerous. So let's just get some of this wood and then find some cacti. I think there was something over there, because this is like an oasis, less of a desert. Yes, we have got cactus over here. To mention, there are only two tools in here, only a pickaxe and an axe. There's also a hammer, but you don't use it to break stuff. It's more for decorating and building. You only use it to break background walls. Oh, there's another chest on here. Maybe there's another accessory. We got the double jump. The cloud in a bottle. It is a double jump item. So now I can jump two times. Two jumps plus wall jump. We are getting very mobile real fast on this. Oh no, a boulder. Yeah, so boulders are the worst enemy. They deal more damage than the first boss. They are so OP. I don't know who was doing that. Who thought it would be a good idea to add boulders that randomly drop down on you and one hit you? That's just insane. Do we want to make a cactus chair for not build house? This is the time to build a house. I don't want to do that night again. For houses, there are also multiple require requirements because your goal is to get your NPC into a house so he doesn't die. And that is a smart goal, so I want to do that. But the house needs to have a certain size. It needs to have walls, a door. This also needs to be a chair and a table or a crafting table. And a light source. So those are a few requirements. That's why it's also a bit harder to make houses in here. But only for the beginning, really. I mean, now we're poor.
lovely house. Now when you have built your house, you want to go in here and see who lives in there. If there's nobody living in there yet, then you drag this symbol over to the house. And he now lives here. As easy as that. So it is simple to actually build a house, but the hard thing is decorating it because with two-dimensional builds, it's a lot harder to make them look great. And even in Minecraft, I'm not good at building, and in here, I'm worse. This is the best I can do. And I don't even think I'm gonna try this time, but maybe in a few days, a few episodes. Not days, because in a few days, I won't get another video out. You know me. But... In a few episodes, we might try to make some more beautiful things. Now you might be, why would you do that? You have a villager, you have a house. Well, there are more villagers actually. Um, we just don't have one yet. There are lots of things we need to do to get villagers, like fight a boss, be rich, uh, fight a different boss. Or get some items. There's a lot of stuff you need to do. Oh, we got over 15 bars. I think we can maybe make an axe. We need an anvil. We we need an anvil now. Yeah, I didn't didn't take some ore in there. Iron is actually rare in this game. So I'll just take something else. Which I don't know the English name of, but it's not that important. I mean, I just make an anvil out of it. Nothing game-changing. Ooh, a mushroom cave. There aren't really any valuable things in there, but... Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm g like this, we won't get anywhere. Uh, eat, eat something. Please, just die. Thank you. The best early game ores in here, I think, are gold. And platinum. They give the most defense on armor and the most damage on swords. And those are pretty useful when you fight the first boss. Because after the first boss you get some other ore. Which is from that weird cursed biome, you know. And with that you can make a lot stronger so stuff. Oh my god, guys. There's a heart crystal. That's like the best I think in the game because it gives me more HP and that's great it it's not an accessory though you use it once and then you get 20 HP forever and I think I'm gonna use it so I don't die because I think I saw gold Please don't die. Thank you. Now we've got 120 HP. I saw another heart on there. Now I think this is the lucky seed. I'm gonna share the seed on the end of this um, playthrough, actually. Um, you might be able to guess it. It's nothing really complicated. There's a building. Oh, there's a building. Okay, we need that. We just got the most important item, the mirror. It allows us to teleport us back to a spawn point. Die! This is the item you use to summon the first boss in the game. Not the easiest one, but the first one, really. At least, you mostly do that first. Because it's the easy one, easiest one to summon. And it's not the hardest one. There are definitely harder ones, and it drops ores, so... It's... Now, that's a trap when I see one. I knew it. Okay. Ooh, that is a very strong weapon. That is very strong. It's really dark with our torches. Might need to lighten the video. And we got another one of the most important items in the game. The Hermes boots. They make us able to. They they make us run super fast. They make us speedy boy. A boulder. I ran into the boulder. Why am I why am I doing that? Why am I running into bo the boulder? Can you tell me why I did that? 
That was stupid. Anyway, we can we can have speed. Look at look at us. Oh, we need that stone to craft mana stars to get more mana. Let's also take this. Hundred forty HP on one episode. This and maybe this. I think we could maybe craft. I think we might be able to craft something out of that. Yes. So there's actually silver armor. But I don't know if it's worth it yet. It needs to be two better than my one yet because of the set bonus that gives me one defense more. That's why I think I'm gonna stick to the sword and the axe. Could make both of them. And still have. So this is 8 and this is 8. That's 16. We would have 11 left. Would be enough for a pickaxe, but the pickaxe is not that much better. I mean, it's 10%. You can see the pickaxe power. That were the 45%. Uh, 10%? I mean, it is a lot. It is a lot, but I'm not sure yet. I think that's something for the next episode. Remember, like the video if you want to see more and subscribe to the channel because it would really help me a lot. Anyway, I hope you like this and see you in the next video. Goodbye.